What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now yesterday we got to witness new things to do come April 12th for the 2.2.0 update for Destiny via the Bungie stream. I think the stream lasted about 45 minutes which also featured a little bit of PvE revamp gameplay too. Now I've already done a video discussing all things you need to know about yesterday's stream which if you missed it will be linked in that video description. At the end of yesterday's video I stated that I will go back through the stream to see if I can pick up on any minor details which were interesting enough to cover in a video which I may have missed and that's what today's video is all about. Now after going through the stream frame by frame I have found a few interesting things but nothing super major. First off, let's take a look at this new sword we saw uh, in this picture here. And sorry for the picture quality, people. It's the best I could actually find. In this picture here, we see Moloch slamming the ground. But notice what the Titan has on his back. Yes, indeed, that is a new sword for sure. Its shape is really unique to that of a blade. Crazy thing about this is though, it looks Taken themed. So maybe a Taken sword? Who knows? Here is a better picture of this sword. Here you can see that it's definitely a new sword, which in my opinion is definitely taken. Seems to be giving off that Void Energy too, so is it Void Sword? That's what it looks to be. But is this a new exotic? I'd put my money on it being a legendary. Sticking to the Taken themed weapons, we also saw a weapon which looks a lot like a Taken shotgun. And we saw it more than once. Shame we never got to see it in action though. A clear image of the weapon can be seen on screen now. This in my opinion is definitely a Taken themed shotgun. So with there being Taken swords and a Taken shotgun. Will we get to see a whole host of other Taken weapons? Who knows. Moving on. On last night's stream and throughout the trailer we saw only the hunter wearing that taken armor slash shader which led many people to believe it's only going to be a hunter thing. I 100% disagree. The reason only the hunter was wearing it was because the armors the titan and the warlock were wearing had another significance I guarantee it which I will cover in a video to come. Moving on and I thought I'd share the better quality images of the taken Arkham Priest. Dude looks an absolute beast and I'm glad this old strike is making a return. Moving on again, now something within the stream they talked about and showed images of was the new face of Taken, Moloch. And they eventually shifted to this image here. Now I know I've had a break from Destiny but still I do not remember anything like this class item the Titan is wearing right here. I can't quite make out what it states and here is a better view of this text and still I can't make sense of what it is. Sort of looks upside down too. I definitely think this is, whatever it is, is something new. Whether it's a new foundry, a new vendor item, who knows. Now with the new face of evil being Malak, does this mean finally we'll start seeing that also elusive hunter helmet, the hood of Malak, starting to drop? It makes sense to me. Now we are coming to an end pretty soon, only a couple more things to cover, so let's get into them. Now we all saw the Her Mercy weapon he obtained for doing the 30k challenge on the entry card for the challenge of the elders. We all noticed it was a 335 but not many people noticed a specific mod on the weapon which states activate a red chroma glow. Now I won't get into this now but I do believe I know exactly what this is and we'll do a little more research on it and cover it in a video to come. Now when they completed the Prison of Elders prior to heading to the Reef, just basically when they got back into orbit, we got a quick flash of the loot that popped up on screen. We saw a Prison of Elders emblem, a standard ghost shell, a blue arm piece, but we also got to see a new style ghost shell, taken themed, called consumed shell. Instead of what we are currently able to obtain, the Kingslayer shell, we got a new version with definitely a new design. The shell here confirms two things. One, there is a new Taken Ghost shell. And two, Taken theme gear drops from the Prison of Elders. So that sword, the shotgun and this shell seems legit that the challenge of the Elders is where these are obtainable. Now last but not least, when they showcased the Her Mercy sniper rifle that they obtained, did anybody notice something else? Now this could be and most probably is a million miles off. But did anyone else notice he was wearing 335 light score King's Fall rated armor? Yes for sure it could have been infused blah 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 and to be honest that's most probably the case. But if that is the case and the King's Fall raid is and only does drop items at a 320 max it's going to become another activity no one plays. 
I would have thought Bungie learnt from this mistake in the past with the Crotus N raid and the Vault of Glass raid. But hey, maybe they plan to revive it as a special event in a few months to come because they are great at reusing old things like that. Just like what we're seeing with the Prison of Elders. But hey, who knows? But guys, that is the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, if you could drop a like, I would appreciate the support. Thanks as always, though, for stopping by, and I'll catch you guys on that next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many of y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Testing these gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.